So today we're doing a 10-year rebuild. The Seattle Mariners, a team who have who currently have a really good farm system, and on top of that, they've got a pretty decent team. So it's finally time to end that playoff drought. And of course, win them a World Series. So let's get into it. So before we get any further into today's video, let me talk to you about who I've partnered up with, and that's DraftKings Sportsbook. NBA fans, the playoffs are really starting to heat up, and DraftKings Sportsbook latest offer is just too good. New customers are getting 30 to 1 odds on any team to win their next playoff game. That's right, just bet $5 on any playoff game, and DraftKings Sportsbook will give new customers $150 in free bets if your team is victorious. It's not often you get 30 to 1 odds on any basketball team to win their next playoff game. That's insane value right there. DraftKings Sportsbook customers can also bet on the NBA with same game parlays, combine multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and when you sign up, use promo code ANT. That's right, promo code ANT and bet just $5 on any NBA playoff game and win $150 in free bets if your team wins. So like I said, the NBA playoffs are really starting to heat up. So get in on this offer while you can. And I'd like to thank DraftKings Sportsbook partnering up with me for this portion of the video. All right, so normal settings. I'm going to turn ignore budgets on because I want the CPU to be able to spend as much money as I want. And it also means that be like later on you get in franchise there won't be so many names in free agency that shouldn't be free agents because teams have spent all their money from previous years so let's get into this i'm gonna stay within budget though that's kind of my main focus obviously that i don't want to go over budget i want to keep this i don't want to say so, like realistic but i at least want to like have that challenge of staying within budget throughout the whole 10 years so when you look at the mariners it's kind of a mixed bag you know offense some good some bad pitching some good some bad you do have some young players to look forward to in the future, but I feel like with this team, you know, I feel like there are a couple pieces to really be a solid, solid competitor in MLB. I mean, you look at Logan Gilbert, looks to be a really, really good, exciting young arm. You've got Robbie Ray, who, uh, you know, like I, I feel like may, maybe a little bit too much money spent on Robbie Ray. You got that one Cy Young year, you've, and then it like you kind of look at what he, else he's kind of done, and I don't know. I just feel like maybe they overpaid a little bit. Marco Gonzalez has been consistent this year. He's been really solid. And then you got a couple others. George Kirby excited for for the future. Hancock's excited for for the future. And a guy I'm kind of excited for to see how he kind of progresses is Matt Brash. A guy that really struggled in the majors. The stuff is there. You just got to figure out, is he is he a starter? Or maybe is he like maybe an opener or a, a really solid reliever? You have to wait and kind of see how this kind of pans out. Closer, I mean... Overall, I feel like bullpen, we could we could definitely find some guys for the bullpen later on. When you look at catchers, we do have Harry Ford for the future, but at the same time, we could probably be okay until he's ready. First base, Ty France. You got Evan White, who just really, on top of injuries, just couldn't really put it together. Dylan Moore, Adam Frazier, I'm just kind of like, mm, you know, eh. Uh, you got Suarez and Toro at third. At short, you got J.P. Crawford locked up for the next five years. And on top of that, you do have Noel V. Marte right around the corner. Potentially could move him to second base, depending on like how long we end up keeping J.P. Crawford. Jesse Winker in left, Jared Kelnick in left as well. Guy who's been kind of struggling in the majors. I know they sent him back down. You've got Kyle Lewis, who's coming back from injury. And then obviously Julio Rodriguez as well, who, I mean, we all know Julio Rodriguez is good. And then in right, you've got Mitch. And again, uh, just kind of like, okay, I feel like we could definitely boost this team up a little bit. I feel like we definitely could. So when we take a look at the team, I feel like we should probably send somebody down. Uh, we don't need all these pitchers. I might send, oh, let's send him down. I didn't even see that he was a 70 overall. We'll send him down and we'll call up. What do we call up here? Who do we call up here? Maybe let's just call him up just 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 to get an extra bat i mean realistically i i can't i don't want to say i want to play this slow but i oh man how am i gonna get everybody how am i gonna get everybody into this team hmm okay so i said i sent kelnick down this is currently what we're gonna rock with here uh, i mean i feel like i'm gonna make some trades at the deadline i feel like things are i don't i don't fully expect this to make the postseason i i think that's that's kind of where i'm at right now i i, I really don't um, nothing against the Mariners. I just, I just don't see us making the postseason this year. I just don't. Uh, I feel like we need to make a couple changes to the team. I think when we take a look at like the budget, Mitch is a free agent. Frazier is a free agent. Winker, arbitration. 
couple others as well. But I, I, I'm just kind of looking at this team going, we could we could definitely make some changes here. So I think, I think that's what's going to happen. I think we're just going to wait and see how everything plays out. Get to the trade deadline. If we're in the playoff mix, make trades to acquire players that make our playoff push even better. And if we're not, let's just kind of get rid of some of those expiring contracts, bring in some new guys and see what we can do. And at the deadline, I do want to acquire some players, maybe some expiring contracts, just some some something to help us a little bit. I'm going to pick up Brent Suter of the Brewers. I need a lefty reliever, so that helps us out a little bit. And also, I feel like we could probably I feel like we could just use another arm. It, it could be an arm that like I can trade really low rated players to acquire. But like I'm looking at our starters and I go, you know what? I'm pretty happy with them. You know, we could maybe boost it up a little bit offensively i feel like we are lacking a little bit i'm not gonna lie i feel like we're we're struggling a little bit suarez contract is something that i'm like Ugh, i don't really like that um our bench isn't that great either and then yeah i feel like it's, it's just kind of a weird spot am i bringing back mitch i feel like if we're moving forward with kelnick i mean winker's a free agent soon too huh we got lewis kelnick and also Julio Rodriguez, I feel like Winker, Mitch are probably the odd guys out, especially Mitch. Do I try? I feel like we keep Mitch here for like a one year like push. And then I think maybe we just try to get another reliever. And then that I feel like that's kind of like the big thing. That's what what will really take us to that next level. So what is our, or who is a reliever I could get? I'm kind of in. I'm kind of in. Let's go for him and then let's send them. Is it Steckenrider Rider that's doing poorly? Yes, he is. And also, I will give you, let's see here, like Billy Hamilton. I mean, whatever. There you go. There it is. All right. So, honestly, that might be, I'll send Ken Giles down. Do we have him for another year? We don't. All right. That's good because I wasn't going to bring him back if there if there was a, an extra, or if um, if there was an extra year, I probably would have traded him. That's, that's what I was getting at. So, currently, this is what we're looking like. I like it. We hold the number one spot in the wild card. Ah, man, I feel like maybe a, maybe like a second baseman that's kind of around Matt or Adam Frazier's age because we we do have Toro who I could I could just kind of do this and then just kind of move the, the lineup around a little bit. So maybe Frazier for a prospect because like I'm not going to bring him back. Yeah, let me do that. I'm going to pick up Michael McGreevy from the Cardinals. Yeah, uh, just a pitcher for the future. Why not? I mean, I don't I don't hate that move. Get a get a prospect for the future, especially since we're doing 10 years and we're, we're gonna be here for a while we're gonna we're gonna need that kind of player so now i need to figure out who, who i want to bring in from free agency maybe you know just a little late addition to the team someone that like just kind of helps us out maybe not um i might have to make another trade which means i i mean yeah i could pick up a second baseman easily here so let me let me just find like someone that can like play the backup position that's really what i'm looking for all right i'm gonna pick up zach mckinstry Kind of a whatever player, right? Like someone that could just come in and he plays a multi multitude of different positions. You know, look, he's got an okay bat. I mean, we could rock with it. Let's see what we can do. So this is currently what the team is. I may have weakened us a little bit. But at the same time, I think we, we bolstered the bullpen. And I feel like that's definitely something that needed to be done. Again, if we don't make the postseason, I won't be too disappointed this year. I feel like we've done an okay job getting rid of some of the players that I just don't see using us using in the future. And right now I feel like I feel like we're in a good spot. So let's see what happens. All right, so we are a wild card team. Kind of kind of where I expected us to be, and that's perfectly fine. We would take a look at the standing seven games out right behind the Angels. First spot in the wild card by quite a bit. Like we were very comfortable in this spot. And that's good to see. You know, this is a team that I feel like we can kind of continue to be very, very consistent, always competing in the postseason, always competing for the division. And I feel like this is a, this is a team that definitely can do that. Like we've, we've got the youngsters to kind of continue to fill up the lineup as some of our older players start to lead the lineup, leave, not lead, leave. So we've kind of got like a like a cycle of like older players leaving, younger players start to come in. And it's just going to work out perfectly. I feel like we've, we've definitely got the team to do that so awards wise we've got vladdy and walker bueller as your mvps bueller obviously going to be winning the cy young along with tyler glasnow trout and belt batting title winners all right okay what do we got wow rizal iglesias was nasty and then zach rex winning rookie of the year and then so does nick lodolo so all right not ooh, 
Ooh, something changed here. No, I don't like that. All right, so this is what we've got going on. Matt Brash kind of struggled, but it, I feel like that's, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I feel like we've, we, we've got maybe something special here. Zach Little was great. Casey Sadler was solid. What else we got going on here? I mean, overall, everybody did very, very good. I'm really happy with the way the, the bullpen did. And then we take a look at the starters, Robbie Ray, Logan Gilbert, Marco Gonzalez, very strong as well, especially in the third in the three spot. Chris Flexen, not terrible, but it's crazy that he's our worst pitcher with George Kirby really solid in the five. So overall, I feel like we're good starting rotation wise. And you take a look at the lineup. It the bench was kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. The bench was bench was pretty bad. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Um, and then when we take a look at what we've got going on here. JP Crawford, not too bad, good on base percentage. And then when you look at the rest, Kyle Lewis had a great season. Love to see those numbers. Ty France, very, very solid. You know, Mitch, interesting stat line, like almost 30 home runs, but like also some like some negatives as well. Jesse Winker was very solid. You got Toro, who was kind of disappointing. You know, Suarez, kind of disappointing. Julio Rodriguez, I definitely expect him to improve. As you see, some of his numbers versus lefties is going down. Not ideal. And then Tom Murphy as well. So I feel like we, we, we're going to need to make some changes to this team for sure. Definitely, definitely will. But here we go. Postseason time. Apparently, we don't have a five, uh, full lineup. That's fine. We lose. It's okay. It's season one. We've got nine more to go. This is perfectly fine. I feel like we're we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. So here we go. Let's, let's do this. Let's see how we do. So these two can go. Is Mitch a guy I want to bring back for another year? One year. I'm thinking one more year coming off the bench. I think this guy is a deadly bat. I think he definitely can be. So let's keep moving forward. And now, first, let me show you who I signed. Let me show you who I signed in the draft. A potential Doug Sawyer. This is our first baseman for the future. This guy is nutty. Next up in the third round, because I didn't have a second round pick. In the third round, Freddie Santana, the closer. Ooh, and then uh, I had a bad fourth round pick and then the fifth pick and the sixth pick so we had it we had an okay draft it wasn't it wasn't bad at all any mendez actually looks kind of good i think this guy could be a, an okay like bench bat for the future but overall that's our draft let me see how much money we have to work with for the offseason all right so i was looking i could go after a catcher um but then i was like ah, do i want to invest that kind of money for a player that like i don't i don't know if i really want any of the catchers here and then I was like, first base, we've got Ty France. He was fantastic. Second base is a bit of a question mark. That's kind of my biggest question mark with this team. You know, Noel V. Marte is still a little bit away, right? Like he's still, still a few seasons away. So looking at it, you know, second base, I think we're just going to trade like Dylan Moore, potentially also Abraham Toro, and then just bring in someone that's kind of like maybe 28, 29, maybe 30. And it's just kind of a, a good second base i i mean i don't think there's really going to be anybody that i could get right now could tell bring could tell Marte back could do that could do that and that that's what how many more years on his deal three more years left on his deal Ooh, hold on that that back that might kind of work with the window for noelvi Marte. like there's ozzy as well interesting one interesting one so ozzy could tell Marte maybe Jorge Polanco is also a possibility. I kind of like, ah, uh, man. I mean, Brandon Lau is not bad either. That's, I can tell Marte is kind of like a fun one though. Same thing with, um, what did I say? Who would I say? Uh, Hazi Alves. How, how hard is this going to be to make this deal possible? I'm going to have to wait till the regular season. So keep that in mind. I'm going to, I'm probably going to do that realistically free agency. If anything I like pick up, it's going to be like, Maybe some guys that I could see potentially helping us out, or they're gonna be players that like I might just hold them because maybe maybe next year or the year after it could be sneaky for us. So maybe someone like a Michael Fulmer, I could hold them in the farm system for a season or two, let him to like really kind of I don't want to say develop, but you kind of see what I'm saying. Like players like mid to low 70s that like could just develop a little bit more, and they could be like good bullpen arms platoon players kind of things like that so i'm gonna see what i can find but realistically i'm not making a big move this offseason i lied we're making a we're making a splash bernardo sanchez where what who did not sign bernardo sanchez 
That's my splash this offseason. All right, so I was going to get Tommy Edmond. I thought, wow, this is, he had a really good year last year. He looks like he he fits perfect. Like, second baseman can play other positions as well. But D potential, 92 overall, which means he's going to regress. So, ah, man, Tommy Edmond would have, like, fit perfectly. This is what I was looking for. Kind of a, I don't want to say an older second baseman, but a guy who has his contract expiring in a few years. So we could let him go, or maybe we move him to third. Just kind of depends on how things play out. But looking at it, I mean, ah, man, that would have fit perfectly because right now I'm getting rid of Dylan Moore, you know, and I think we hit gold. This guy, Dennis Gomez, a potential, picked him up in free agency. Our offseason was actually insane, insane. So let me let me show you what we got here. Free agents. All right. So we got Sanchez. Like I said, there was who else did I bring in? Let's let's find them. Let's find them. Let's find them. We brought in. Bobby Bradley, I, I thought, you know what, maybe, maybe like a DH type situation. We'll see how he progresses. Front and forest wall, I just needed some guys. Uh, Tejeda I brought in. I brought in Dennis Gomez. This, how did he not get signed by the team that drafted him? That's insane. It's too good to pass up. And you can kind of see some other names as well. Nick Senzel was another guy that I did bring in. Daniel Norris, a couple others. Kind of just filling out the squad a little bit. So second base, it, it is a little tough to find someone that like fits that whole mold of what I'm looking for. Brandon Lau, like it does, right? He's a, it, I feel like, oh, Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau is solid. Jonathan Scope could potentially be a guy. Polanco's like kind of a perfect fit. We've got Ozzy. I think Ozzy's a little bit too young. So I think I'm going to pass on him. So realistically, it's like Edmund. We've got, where is he, where is he, where is he for the Diamondbacks? Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte. It definitely shuts off this year and then three years in the future for Noel V. Marte. But where, where is Noel V. Marte? Speaking of, like, I mean, realistically, his bat's really bad. So he's probably not going to come up to, what, 23, 24? Hmm. I think, I think, let me figure something out. All right, Dylan Warren, Abraham Toro for Brandon Lau. That's the move. I, I've looked around. Yes, I could go try to get Albies. Yes, I could bring back Cattell Marte. Yes, I could go a bunch of different ways. A player I thought about going after was Jake Cronenworth, but he's actually like just out, out of out of range. I just can't I can't get him. Um, the only way I can get him is if I throw in Ty France, which I don't I don't want to do. Um, I, I really don't. So. <coughs> so, yeah, I, I just I just can't make the move unless I throw in Marte as well, and I, I don't want to do that. So. Yeah, so it's going to be Brandon Lau. And realistically, I don't even have to get rid of Toro to make this possible. I can just do... Oh, I can throw in Forest Wall and Dylan Moore. Which means I could probably move Toro for another player then. Right? All right, so our budget currently looks like this. We've got a, a couple of players becoming free agents. But realistically, we're kind of building from within the organization. A couple additions here and there through free agency. But I'm not really looking to spend big because I know I'm going to have to spend big or some of these younger players once their contracts start to run out. So the only extension that I have done was Jesse Winker. And for 14.6 mil for the next three years, I thought that was a pretty decent deal. I'm not too upset with that. So looking at the team, this is what we've got. I've got Justice Sheffield here instead of Brash. I just want to see how things go. If it doesn't go great, Brash will come right back up. And then you can kind of see the, the changes that we've done with the bullpen. Rotation is the same. And then lineup wise, I brought in Nick Senzel. Uh, I saw he was available. I decided to give him a two-year club option. And this is currently what the team's looking like. Triple A. Couple names. Uh, who? Taylor Trammell's a guy that, like, I just don't know what to do with him. I mean, there's a couple others. Evan White, Bobby Bradley. I brought in Tejeda as well. And then double A, we've got, like, Doug Sawyer, Harry Ford. We've got Gomez, who we assigned. Marte's down here. Like, this is, this is actually, like, a pretty stacked farm system. Like, I feel like we've done way better than we should have already so yeah let's get through season two so another wild card spot we're taking on the astros which what what are they they are i think the same record as us pretty close to it right two games better which is disappointing it really is we kind of had a i, I don't want to say like a collapse but losing the last couple games against the astros here kind of hurt us and also we kind of we kind of struggled around i want to say like june you can kind of see there's quite a few losses here that kind of put us behind a little bit and I mean, we're, we're in a tough division. You know, the Astros, the Angels, they're good. They're good teams. They're going to be tough to beat. And I didn't make any acquisitions at the deadline because I like the team that we have. And I'm still trying to figure out pieces that I want to keep and who I want to get rid of. So 
can kind of see what we're working with here. And I'm, I'm keeping my name on a few players here. I am, I am. And so I think we're going to be able to do something that that might be a little crazy. What, bringing in Juan Soto, I know he becomes a free agent. That doesn't make a lot of sense. It would be cool. Soto in right, uh, Julio Rodriguez in center, and then Jared Kelnick in left. That'd be nutty. Then we still have Winker. We still have Kyle Lewis. Like Maybe Kyle Lewis is a player that we look to get rid of. Could be something that we do. Soto would be a fun player. Like that would be a really electric outfield. Like that would be insane. Absolutely wild. Like I'm actually like the more I'm talking about it, it's starting to get me more and more excited about doing it. Like I kind of want to do it now because I keep mentioning it, mentioning it. So I got to clean this up and then we're heading into the postseason. All right. So we've got Justice Sheffield who really cooled off the second half of the season. So I think I think Matt Brash, that's his spot. I think Justice Sheffield's a guy that I just kind of look to flip for some sort of prospect moving forward. I could give him another season, test him out, but realistically, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe as a lefty in the middle relief spot, we'll see what he can do. I like our bullpen. They're very, very good. We do have some players that I will need to replace at some point because a lot of them are mid-70s, low 70s, and see potential. So they're not really going to increase much more. So... Paul, so, ooh, 12 blown saves. He's probably gone this year. Um, when you take a look at the starters, you've got Robbie Ray, who's still putting up solid numbers. Ooh, Logan Gilbert. Ooh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Kirby had a little bit of a sophomore slump, but we're looking good. We're looking good. So lineup-wise, let's see here. McKinstry only had 21 games, but you know what? Average and on-base percentage, pretty healthy. Mitch kind of sucked this year. Uh, Murphy, not great. Senzel, solid bench bat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep him. This is a, I'm gonna take him. That's a, that's a bench bat that I want. Toro, not so much. And then to the pitcher. So, Kalnick, I ended up moving him into the leadoff role, and I don't necessarily want to keep him here, but he could be a guy that he, he might, he might end up being because like, I don't really know who else is uh, a leadoff guy. Maybe, maybe JP Crawford. Maybe JP Crawford. Uh, Brandon Lau, 30 home runs. I'll take it. We got one more year. And at second base, I'm pretty happy with him there for now. Ty France is starting to regress, which is super unfortunate. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate. Uh, Jesse Winker was still very solid. Suarez. Ooh, I think we have one more year of him. Kyle Lewis. A little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. And I, he was our leadoff guy. I took him out of the leadoff spot because he was he was struggling. Julio Rodriguez definitely took a step up this season. Love to see it. Terenz is now our catcher, but I, th I think we could look to improve the catching spot. I do need to see where Harry Ford is development wise to kind of get an idea of where we are. Mm, okay. All right. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We do also have what is this? Cal Raleigh, who I know is actually getting some time in real life. That is unfortunate that his potential went down to B. Mm, okay. All right. So, oh, season time. What can we do? We can lose for nothing. Okay. All right. So, two postseason appearances two disappointments the Dodgers defeat the Astros so we we did lose to the team that would go on to finish second place in baseball so you, you gotta love seeing that you gotta love seeing that all right so now let's see let's see what we got here a lot of options and I feel like I'm gonna decline this one I'm not using him so I'm just gonna decline it I don't think I'm gonna use him either but I'll pick him up just in case I'm gonna pick up Senzel's that's that's definitely happening. And then I think Daniel Norris is another another safe option to pick up too. Brent Suter, it's bugged right now. I'm seeing some regression. And at 34 years old, I think this is a year where we will see some serious regression. So I think Daniel Norris replaces Brent Suter. Perfect. Mitch, sadly, I think it's time to go. Coming off a really bad season, you know, just really wasn't doing well. And I only had him versus lefties, which is where he thrives. Didn't really do well. And then Tom Murphy, I think I'm going to let walk it also. So now it's offseason time. Let me show you our draft picks. Let me show you our draft picks. Art Mock, which, you know, you wear a mock when you do art. So what a name right there. But he looks pretty good for the future. We've got George Trejo, C potential. We've got Mariano Flores, C potential. I was kind of actually looking for a lot of younger players so that we'd have prospects for the future. I'm not necessarily looking for players that are going to be prospects and, uh, are going to be MLB players immediately because I want some players for the future. So Connor Patrick, C potential. But then Ryan Stark, a catcher. He's 21, which is a little bit of a bummer. His fielding stats are terrible, but B potential and his hitting stats are really solid. So this is a guy 
that I see maybe 24, 25, he comes up. He's going to be really good at hitting, but his fielding sucks. He's our catcher. So we got that guy for the future, and then Omar Gomez sucked. So let's figure out this, this team now because we, we've got some moves to make. Emerson Hancock is definitely a player that's going to get called up. I just don't know where to put him. So let's figure this out. All right, season three, we're going to start. I'm going to send Taylor Trammell back to the Padres for a prospect. The Mariners Padres like to make deals all the time. They're basically just... Like, they probably have each other on speed dial at this point. So, yeah, we're going to pick up this third base prospect. Off season, let's talk about what I did. So, we just picked up this guy. And then I brought in Montero, Banfield, and Alfaro. That was really about it. I, I didn't really do too much else. I really wasn't looking to change up the team. I got a catcher that I get a I did a two-year club option. We'll see how it, how it goes. I just, I really don't like any of the catching prospects. And also with Harry Ford potentially around the corner i felt like let's not invest too, like too long term on a specific player so we've we've got players all kind of like all levels mlb we've got it's really good where we are farm system wise and on top of that like mlb wise everything's looking pretty solid so i do think we've i i, I do feel like I, I need to change something up i don't know where though maybe a, a different lefty reliever instead of sheffield and then offensively i like this team offensively we also do have a lot of expiring contracts this year we've got suarez gonzalez lao potentially flexing how he does this year and a couple others so like we might be in the like an area where we spend a lot of money this offseason it, it really just depends so yeah i i, I want to pick up a better bullpen arm let's let's go do that all right, Larson, Bradley, and Sheffield are going to get me Caleb Ferguson. Yeah, that's who we're going with here. I actually, no, I don't want Caleb Ferguson. Looking at some of his, his stats, I don't really like that. So I'm going to find a different lefty reliever. What about Cabrera? Ooh, ooh, that's, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Genesis Cabrera. Deal done. All right, so yeah, that's the team. Again, not much has changed. Uh, offensively, I still think we're really solid. There it is. Season three, we're ranked second. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, we're ranked 10th now. Either way, I still feel pretty good about the team. All right, I'm going to pick up Chris Paddock. Um, contract expires at the end of the year. I just need a little bit better of a pitcher. And our two younger guys are kind of struggling this year. So it allows me to do, like, has Kirby or Hancock going down? Who's older? 26, 24. I'll send down Hancock, move Kirby over here, and uh, we'll go from there. I mean, honestly, the, the whole, a lot of the pitchers are kind of struggling at the deadline. So we'll send down Hancock for now and go from there even though kirby is struggling the most i think i think that's the move bullpen i brought up brash over genesis cabrera offensively we're killing it i just need the pitching to step it up a little bit all right so another wild card appearance 96 and 66 how far were we two games all right so we're, we're creeping our way up and up and up it's the angels man the angels are killing us right now do they still have let's see what do they have marsh fletcher trout walsh rendon okay so offensively interesting and then pitching wise, no Otani. I don't know. I feel like I feel like we have a pretty comparable team. And I guess I guess we were two two games out, right? Like batting average were fifth, runs were second, you know, hits were third. You know, like offensively, we're we're right up there. Second in RBIs. Like we're we're up there. I have a feeling pitching is kind of letting us down. But yeah, we're we're right there. The Blue Jays are really good. Padres are good. The Dodgers are good. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at league leaders. What do we got going on here? Winker batting average leader along with Soto. So it looks like he, ooh, he's a free agent this year. Oh, because. Okay. So I was kind of out on him. Who got sent down? Alfaro. He was bad. I'm not bringing him back. Um, <laughs> um, so the reason I was like kind of out on Soto is because we had Winker. We have Kyle Lewis, who's also very good. Um, potential at B. He is I think he's got one more year of arbitration. The thing is, like, 34 home runs, 37 doubles. Like, there's no reason to get rid of him after a season like that. We've got Julio Rodriguez. We've got Kelnick. Both are very good players. So, like, our outfield is is, is set. We don't need to bring in Soto. That, that, that's really what it is. Like, Soto is just, like, just overkill, you know? I feel like third base is definitely a position that we will need. And then second base potentially is a position that we need. So, like looking at it we we do have we do have gomez who we signed in free agency which was an absolutely insane insane signing essentially an international signing because we got him in free agency we have who else noel b martes right around the corner we also have 
Sanchez, who was kind of nutty. He looks insane. He looks insane. And then, yeah, I feel like we've, we've done well in the draft too. So yeah, here we go. Let's take a look at the awards. What do we got here? We do have a Cy Young and a Silver Slugger. Okay, Mountcastle. Wow. MVP for Mountcastle? Soto on the other side. We got Dustin May and Gilbert, your Cy Young winners. Uh, Winker and Soto. Okay, Rogers and Dylan Tate are the relievers of the year. And then Luke Henley. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Out of Australia. Oh, okay. And then Carlos Rincon, left fielder. Those are your uh, rookies of the year. So now I've noticed a couple positions are a little bit different. Let me fix it. All right, so I'm going to rock two long relievers. We've got Hancock. Okay, season. Not bad. Not bad. Kirby, eh, kind of struggled. Not going to lie. Uh, you know, we, we, we need them to kind of take a step up next season for sure. Zach Little has been fantastic for us. I just don't think he's going to be that good for too much longer. I'm thinking maybe one or two more seasons at most. Swanson's come up over Brash and Norris. Oh, I got to fix that. Hold on. I totally... N Norris was nutty and so was Brash. So let's go like this. Let's go like that. Let's get that out of the way. So now we've got Norris here. He was solid. Um, Cabrera struggled, but I would like that extra lefty. So that's why I'm doing that. Daniel Norris was solid. Munoz. Not bad. So Wald. Not bad. I brought him back. I didn't want to. And uh, I ended up bringing him back as a setup guy. And it seems like that's a lot better. And then Castillo. He's going down. I extended him for two more years. I think we can get two more years out of him. I think he's going to be fine there. So now looking at our starters, Logan Gilbert was Cy Young for a reason. And I think in real life, he's he's been proven. He's absolutely insane. He might actually have a chance to be a Cy Young caliber pitcher. Robbie Ray. We've got Chris Flexen, Marco Gonzalez. And then, of course, Chris Paddock, who we picked up. When you look at it, we've got a couple players who are becoming free agents in this rotation. So we're going to we might need to invest a little bit of money there. That might be the area where I look to improve the season. So now I, I think it's probably best to just go with Torrens as our catcher. Our bench was, eh, you know, like kind of like just there. I think Senzel as a bench bat is not bad. I think that's probably our best bench bat, which is bad. What do we got here for JP Crawford? He's our leadoff guy. He's solid, solid. We got to love it. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like that. Brandon Lau. Ooh. Okay. The contract. Mm, I don't know if I bring him back, though. That's the big thing. But it's a good season. 34 home runs. Killer. Ooh. Ty France. Still really good. He becomes a free agent next year. We got one more year of arbitration. We've got Jesse Winker, who is unbelievable. Toro. Iffy. Iffy. Kyle Lewis was great. Julio Rodriguez definitely took a little bit of a step back, but I still I still have faith in the guy, Torrens, and then Kelnick. So looking at the team, again, I feel like we just we need a little bit more. That, that's really what it is. We need a little bit more. Who's going to come in here? What is this? Catcher? Oh, so, oh, I just got to do this. Let's go like that. We're good. And then this is catcher again. Doesn't really matter. That's postseason time. Let's do it. What do we? Oh, we got to take the Astros again. We win this time. There we go. We win. First postseason win. And then let's go like this, like this, like this. All right, let's keep moving forward. Do we advance? We do. We beat that best team in baseball, the Blue Jays. And now we got Chris Paddock. Huh. So maybe just kind of move everybody up a spot, you know? Maybe even something like this. I mean, Robbie Ray was kind of bad, but all right, let's do it. Here we go. A win, a win, a win. A sweep, a sweep, so easy. We're taking on the Brewers in the World Series. Chris Paddock, nothing against you, nothing against you, but we, we're, we're rocking with what we have. We got to keep it going. No reason to change it. Things are looking good, and we get swept, so maybe we should have changed it, but you know what? A World Series appearance in Season 3. I'll take it. We have a playoff MVP of Jesse Winker. Yelich, it's 625 in the World Series. That's not a bad place to, you know, like, kind of be after a couple seasons. Heading into Season 4, we're a World Series caliber team. So that's good to know. This is kind of the tough part. I think Alfaro, we got to let him go. Daniel Norris was good. So I'm going to I'm gonna do another. Just do. Let's do, a, let's do a one year deal. I think that's good. Alfaro, no. Gonzalez, I think his time has come. He's been fantastic with the team. And I just think it's time to move somewhere else. Paddock, I don't want him back. I don't want Sawald. Oh, actually. You know what? Ooh, four mil. That's pretty good. Suarez. I think.
think I think we should move on from from that. And then Brandon Lau, how much does Brandon Lau want? About 11 mil. Let's let's kind of see where we're at with our holy cow. 511 first baseman. I don't think that's possible. You know, nothing against that. I'm 510, but I don't see myself at 510 playing first base. So 511 that's tough, but this bat is kind of something we need in the team. I'm thinking, along with Dennis Gomez, we're kind of looking like, could we move maybe Dennis Gomez? He does have a wimpy arm. Maybe Sawyer's a, a third baseman. And that's, yeah, I think that's the move. I, I didn't realize Sawyer was that short, so I'm actually going to move him to third base. And um, maybe kind of like a Ty France-ish player. How, how, how tall is Ty France? 5'11". Okay, so I guess maybe we make him like a, a Ty France-ish player. Like, that that's just what we do. So, what do we got? First, and I do like first and second. Or I guess more like infield or first and then do like, can I do like second and third? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Something like that. I like that. That's good. And then that way we can get Sawyer kind of in the team. I think Gomez is good, but maybe like a backup for this year. And so now looking at negotiations, I think I think we bring back Lau for a season or two. And then third base is Sawyer's. And then Lau plays second for another season or two. Yeah, that, that's what we do. That's what we do 100%. So let's do let's do a two year club option and we'll, we'll bump it up to like 15 mil a season. I think we could do that or maybe like 29 a season boom perfect i think that's 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 a good start to the off season and now let's spend some money on pitching because that's what we need to do all right heading into free agency i've got mike soroka that's really the only offer that i want to do because i'm looking at the team and mike soroka slots in perfectly at this two spot then we have ray kirby hancock flex flex in not flex flex in and then bullpen could probably use a little bit of help but at the same time i kind of like what we have right now Arbitration, I think I've offered it to everybody that I wanted to. Contracts, I've released a couple players. I'll definitely add the players that I don't want to lose. That way, you know, like, obviously, I'm going to offer a contract to the players that I don't want to lose. We'll put it that way. So, looking at the team now, I mean, you kind of look at this and, like, this looks really good. This looks really good. Um, Yeah, I, I think we could maybe trade for a pitcher if we really wanted to. I do have a couple players that I'd be willing to get rid of. But outside of that, we're, we're looking pretty good for the draft. Let me show you who we got this year in the draft. We got Tate Romero. Looks like he's going to be like a, a good backup catcher, right? He's got decent fielding. He's got decent hitting. He doesn't improve too much more because he's only C potential, but not, not bad. Then we got William Kong. Probably going to be another backup catcher, which I'm okay with. It's good to have just depth. You know, not every draft piece or draft pick is going to be a hit. Then we got Julio Garcia who was my first pick and I was thinking he's 24. He can again, just be a good depth piece. He's got the hitting stats. I like this idea. And then York, who's going to be a long-term guy, but I think come season eight, season nine, he's definitely the guy I'm looking at, which is what four seasons away. So he'll be like 23, 24, 25, maybe around that, that, um, age slash, uh, yeah, age and then the overall will be high enough. We'll be good to go. So yeah, that's that's really what I'm looking at. I could go after Bieber. I could go after Burns, but I think I think Soroka. He's 27, kind of fits that younger-ish rotation we've got going on. So yeah, I, I like it. Like I said, bullpen could use a little bit of work. I think offensively, we're pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm I'm liking this team. Catcher, we're gonna rock with Raleigh and Torrens. Just because we do have Harry Ford, who I think I'm going to rock with next year, right? And so this is this is what I'm going to do. If I sign a player, I will show you. Otherwise, just kind of know that I've I've really just drafted pretty well. Or I, actually, what I'll say is, let's 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 backtrack. I will show you every draft pick, and if I don't do that, like if I don't show you how I got them, just just know I got them from free agency. So free agency. I show every trade, I show every draft pick to you guys. So if, if they pop up in the team, they were either already on the team or I picked them up in free agency. So I think we've actually done really well with some of the, the, the draft picks and also trades that we've made. Like this guy. I, I feel like we're we've only we've we've kind of gotten too lucky 
with some of our players like this guy some team didn't sign him this guy some team didn't sign him i don't know i just feel like maybe those guys i guess we i don't know i don't know i feel like it's just like almost like too good to be true but so far so good i'm liking the team everybody's got a contract and i want to have a contract and i think just signing a pitcher is the right move so let's get into the next season all right so i'm i think i i think i said that i already did season four this is season four right now and i also know that i made who did i say i said art mock and you wear a mock when you do art which is wrong you wear a smock when you do art i i'm all over the place on this one all right I, anyways anyways all right just let's 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 talk about where we are this year so we had all the draft picks we acquired holly last year and then really the only pickup that we did this year was mike soroka because if you look at the team one we're running a little tight on money and also i just really like this team like i think we're really solid like we've got sawyer into the team this this pick was insane we got gomez who we picked up in free agency insane by the way and then we've got Noel V. Marte, Marte, who's going to be coming up next year, who maybe even later on this year. We've got Holly, who we got in the trade, who is a crazy good hitter. We've got Harry Ford, who's right around the corner. Bernardo Sancho, Sanchez, right around the corner. And who else? Who else? I mean, this guy looks pretty good. We've got, I think Larson got B potential. No, the Loach got B potential now. We have, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? There's somebody else. There's somebody else. I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? A bunch of players. Uh, we it's just our farm system's like really balanced like it's actually really solid so i'm actually really happy with the way we've been able to kind of draft everybody keep everybody kind of like we've we've got like a good like the team's currently good and then we've got like a good like just like a, this farm system is set up perfectly like we're gonna have consistent players like where we can have them either be backups or starters for the team like throughout the entire rebuild like we shouldn't have to worry about really going out and spending too much money in free agency this is kind of just like building from within for this for this rebuild especially with the the draft picks we were able to get as well i do need to start picking up a couple more pitching prospects though because we currently don't really have any we're a little thin here so my pitching prospects haven't been the greatest but overall we've been we've been pretty solid i did extend two players let me show you who i did extend i extended lewis kyle lewis and then i extended ty france for a couple more years so that'll get us to what this is season four, so five, six, seven. So that'll get us through seven. Then we'll have eight, nine, ten to figure out without those three. So yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. We're currently ranked eighth. Everything's looking solid. I like this team. Like this is this is looking really good. I'm really liking that we're really building from within on this draft or from this for this rebuild. Right, Daniel Norris and Cal Raleigh are gonna give me David Bednar of the Pirates, who is absolutely nasty. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna flip Castillo and Bednar. And then everybody else is going to stay the same. Uh, starters are doing pretty well. Kirby's struggling a little bit still, which is super unfortunate. And so is Hancock. Like, a lot. Um, I need him to turn things around. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. I just don't know what we're going to do there. Offensively, I'm pretty happy with the team. The only player I'm a little disappointed in is Sawyer. So I might just kind of like move things around a little bit. Harry Ford is going to get the starting catcher spot just because everybody else that we have on the team is kind of garbage. And then outside of that, like everybody's doing really well. Like I'm actually really happy with the team. We do have a couple cold hitters here and there, but like it's it's going well. It's just the angels are nutty, man. Like it's insane. I'm going to really have to step it up. I might just have to like start changing some things and start changing the way we spend our money. You know, I thought we were solid. Um, Robbie Ray's contract does kind of hinder us. I would rather spend that 23 million somewhere else, which I might end up trading him at the end of this year. It really just depends otherwise i feel like we're pretty good i feel like after this year we're gonna have a lot of money to spend that 2027 year i think is gonna be a crazy year so so far so good i i, I still feel like we're good i just feel like we're also kind of underperforming I, I feel like that's another thing too so let's finish off the season another postseason appearance through the wild card which i i, I can't i yeah and eh, that's basically what i'm at like it's just the angels are good man and uh, we've also got the Astros, you know, like the Rangers are slowly improving. Like it's, it's a tough division. I, I definitely expected us to be a little bit better. Like I actually thought we'd be like two games out, one game out, kind of like we were last year where we finished two games out. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the team. So yeah, Robbie War, Robbie War, Robbie Ray with the best War. Soto signed with the Royals. San Diaz is apparently killing it with the Tigers now. And then a couple other changes, but. 
yeah i don't know i just i just feel like we definitely should be doing a little bit better a little bit better so i think that just comes down to like not really improving the team as much as i should but at the same time i'm really enjoying kind of building from within through the draft through these like free agent side like not, it's basically just the prospects that we already have and uh like just kind of building from within making small trades here and there mostly for like bullpen arms and i think what what else have we made a trade for uh brandon lau that's really about it who got sent down sawyer did he have a bad year yeah i mean he, he definitely picked it up come the end of the year gomez went down too wow he really cooled off okay so let's let's clean this up a little bit and uh let's get this let's get postseason ready all right let's rack the extra arm for the the postseason hansen emerson uh, yeah emerson hansen emerson hancock good lord struggled not great not great um i mean i hope he turns it around next year brash only three innings really tough to judge him little is killing it he might be a guy you bring back wow okay even the potential went up which is good cabrera definitely turned it around when you give him a little bit more of a, a couple more innings definitely showing his worth paul seawald probably gonna let him walk after this year but he's been fantastic for, uh, for us this, this rebuild Munoz is solid and then Castillo we've got one more year of him and if he's going to start putting up these numbers it might be perfect timing to let him walk and then Bednar was an acquisition who I think I'm going to try to keep him for at least another season we've got Gilbert still loving the stuff that I'm seeing from him we've got Soroka who was very good you got Robbie Ray who had a, a again a really good year a really good year I'm happy with that I, I'm a little worried he's going to start to fall off but it actually works out perfectly he's got one year left on his deal Lexington's been good. You know, George Kirby turned it around. That is big to see. Love to see it. And then offensively now, Senzel, who's been facing lefties, is still kind of just like a decent bat. Like, that's... I'm pretty happy with what he's put up. And then kind of our bad bench. Uh, and then what do we got going on here? JP Crawford, we've got one more year of him. I think he's a guy that I would like to keep on the team. You know, he's not going to improve too much more, but I, I'd like to keep him around. Uh, Brandon Lau's been good. We've got one more year of him. He's a guy that might actually start to fall off. Did we make it a team option? I could let him walk this year. I could. I could. 30 home runs is tough to let go, but he is regressing quite a bit, as you can see. So it might actually work out perfectly. We let him walk. Ty France not improving too much more is a little bit of a disappointment. Winker, we had a ooh, we have a team option with him too. Okay, so we actually might have some flexibility this year with contracts. We we might actually be in a good spot. Julio Rodriguez, decent. I'm, I, I've, I was expecting a little bit better, but he's still putting up good numbers. Harry Ford and then Jared Kelnick. Okay. We actually might, like, depending on how things go here against the Yankees, we lose. Ah, man. Okay. I, I think I think it's time to change up the team a little bit. Like, one World Series appearance is cool and all, but we're heading into Season 5, and we've only made it past the, the wild card spot once. So, we definitely, we definitely need to make some moves here. So... We're gonna, I think we decline this. That's 14 mil. Winker. All right, let's 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 see here. Hitching staff, I think is fine. I think the bullpen was very solid. I think we're good there. I just think the offense needs to be taken up a notch. Letting go of Brandon, Brandon Lau. We could go to the, what was his name? Gomez, is that who it is? Or Marte, we could go to Marte. Not necessarily an offensive guy, but that, that's probably what we could do. Gomez is there too. So he's he's available. Who else we got going on here that we could look at? Oh, this left fielder, Sanchez. Um he could he could come in and help us out. Bench bat. I think Senzel we let walk. As good as he has been, we have Bernardo Sanchez coming up, right? So I think is it time to let Winker go? I think we have one more good year of Winker. I think that's that's what we're gonna have. One more good year. I just, I'm also like not 100% sure of like who's going to be a free agent. I wish I could like kind of see who was a free agent before this. So, Paul, I said we we're going to let walk. How much does Little want for like one more year? Like five mil? I'm I'm okay with that one. Torrens, he's been okay, but I'm just going to let him walk. Genesis Cabrera, let's do like a two-year club option. We'll bump it up to eight. And then Senzel, he's been good. But like, again, I feel like we've got the pieces that are really similar to him. I'm just not 100% sure on Winker. 14 mil, it really isn't that much. It's closer to 15. I still think we've got one more good year. 
But like if we've got a really good outfield. I think we let him go. I think we let him go. I think I think we've 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 been kind of relying on the same players for all these years. I think it's one of those things where it's kind of like the Cubs did with Chris Bryant, Rizzo, and Baez. We're not getting the results that we're looking for. It's time to shake it up a little bit. So let's do that with this offseason. All right, so my only offer is for Jordan Alvarez. That's my new DH that's taken over for Jesse Winker. We currently have these players signed. We've got Sam Saunders, C Potential. I thought he was going to be a little bit better. He was like a third round pick, so like it's not the worst pick. We got Bobby Roy. Like that pick. We got Ryan Pierce. I like this pick for the future. We got Ward Calhoun, long term guy. And then Eric Bledsoe, not the NBA player, just a maybe a cousin or something. I don't know. But th those are our picks. We also have Ronald Gonzalez. Not, not a bad draft. I'm thinking long term for these players. I at least want some sort of farm system. And that way I don't have to like worry about the budget or anything like that. Jordan's my big splash this year. You can kind of see we have the money to do it. I want just to do that right like and then when i look at the team moving forward you know i have a feeling mcgreevy can come up and help us out maybe in the long relief role maybe take over for flexen who becomes a free agent after this year and then with ray leaving i think we're gonna have to spend some money on a pitcher which i'm okay with doing if i can you know take that 20 mil and invest it in a different pitcher outside of that i mean if you look at the team robbie ray gets replaced by somebody else that's easy we could pick up some decent relievers for pretty cheap and then offensively i think this team's looking pretty good jordan slots in bernardo sanchez becomes a bench bat which i think he's gonna thrive in and overall this team's solid like this team is really really good noel Marte is at short we got jp crawford at second i mean this team is this team's golden this team's gonna be set for some uh some really good stuff so what was that season five that we just finished right or was that season four let me let me take a look here this is season or so we're about to hop into season five we'll take a look at the league once we start the next season let's do it all right so looking at our team we're ranked sixth and uh i did a couple extensions um <laughs> yeah it, it might it might backfire it might backfire i'm not gonna lie um so we have let me let me show you let me show you we've got logan gilbert big boy contract i figured he's gonna be one of our best pitchers moving forward for the foreseeable future lock him up Another guy, Julio Rodriguez, lock him up. George Kirby, lock him up. He's got a potential. He's going to be a late bloomer. I can feel it. We still have Cal Nick, who, comes, who becomes a free agent in a few seasons. Toro's leaving after this year. Cabrera, I might try to flip, depending on how he does this year. Bednar extended, extended for two years. I knew Little was leaving. I knew Flexen was leaving. I knew Castillo was leaving. JP Crawford, I do want to extend, but I think that means... I, I got to figure out what I want to do with one of these two. One of these two is leaving. I just don't know who. Um, Kyle Lewis is also a possibility of a player that could leave. But yeah, we're a little tight on money moving forward. So we've got to be smart. And that's kind of why I've been wanting to build from within with this team. Because I knew this was going to happen. So when we look at it, we, we've got plenty of closers coming up. Like I'm, I'm ready for one of these guys to pop off. Realistically, these two are probably coming up next year and it kind of works out perfectly because we're losing a couple relievers so it's it's solid our team's looking stacked i am liking this team a lot like a lot a lot so yeah let's let's keep going i mean look, look at this team this team is so nice so good so good pitching still question marks but i i'm liking this team i think this team's this team's gonna cause some damage for sure this is the year so let's take a look around the league kind of get an idea of what other teams are looking like and uh, yeah, the Angels are still stacked. I mean, the Astros are okay. They brought in Ozzy instead of Jordan. The Twins are looking pretty decent. They got Kyle Tucker and Willie Adamas. Oh, okay. Okay, I see them. Mountcastle and... Oh, the Royals might be kind of nasty. Pitching looks a little suspect, but the Royals might be sneaky good. The Tigers are okay. The, the Guardians look pretty solid. They've got a decent team. You know, the, the White Sox look decent as well. Blue Jays are looking okay, kind of shaky. The Rays look good. The Rays look really good. Holy cow. Wander, Rosarena, Guriel, Vaughn, Jones, Bruhan, Lowe. Yeah, that's a good team. That's a good team indeed. The Yankees are looking looking okay. Not bad. Not, not They've got some okay players. They're also kind of an older team. Um, so that, that could be a, a bit of an issue. The Red Sox look okay. The Orioles look kind of bad. The Giants don't look that great. The Padres... Machado, Tatis, Crone. Again, an older-ish team. 
some old uh, it, it's a mix it's a mix but uh, it's not looking great you've got the dodgers they're always good you know the rockies are okay they're not bad they're not they're not bad but they're not great but they, they could be sneaky good diamondbacks we've got the the cardinals looks like a decent team looks like a decent team indeed oh yeah Edmund Senzel, which I think, you know, just a good role player. Turner, Salvi, Arenado. I mean, that's that's a decent team. That's a decent team indeed. Pirates, just weird. <laughs> it's just a weird team. The Brewers look kind of meh. Um, the Reds look okay. They've got some players that are like kind of boom or bust. You've got the Cubs who are in a weird spot. What is going on with them? They, they, they have Brendan Davis just like chilling. Just not getting any playing time. Okay. That's a weird team. That's a strange team. I just don't know what to say about it. The Nationals, the Phillies. Phillies look decent. Uh, the Mets look pretty good as well. The Marlins look kind of like a mixed bag. The Braves look okay. They've got Acuna, Cronenworth, Olsen. They look all right. They, they, they look kind of bad. Maybe their pitching's better. The, uh, the Rangers look decent. Oh, man. This, team, this division might be pretty tough this year. Okay. All right. Let's get through Season 5. I'm going to get rid of Abraham Toro. He hasn't been a guy that really got anything like really did anything i'm gonna get i'm going to get jose figueroa from the orioles for toro and Cade marlow so we got a little little picture for the future in uh figueroa i'm gonna bump him up to maybe double a oh i guess he could uh, i guess triple a works i guess triple a works and then now i need to call up somebody it actually works out we've got elias montero he's been chilling here hasn't really done anything i've also got where is he where is he holly holly's been chilling here his hitting stats look great and I think it's time to call him up, get him into the team. So we've we've got some we've got some prospects with some hitting stats. I just need to see them hit. Uh, Sanchez is doing well offensively. Besides Kyle Lewis, everybody's having a phenomenal year. Kalnick, a little cool, a little cool. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the way everything's looking. I need Kirby or Flexen or uh, no, Flexen's doing well. I need Kirby or Hancock to like wake up, man. Like it's wild what these two are just like not able to do. Yo Castillo hasn't allowed a run. I just jinxed him, but he hasn't allowed a run this entire year, which is crazy. And then Bednar is doing well. So, yeah, oh, we're off to a great start. Season's going well. Let's let's finish it. All right, so we won the division. Thank God. But the thing is, we had to do a tiebreaker. And in the tiebreaker, we scored 20 runs. Ooh, okay. Ooh, who was putting up some crazy numbers? So, Holly played right field. We went four for six. Holy cow. Um, good Lord. How many RBIs? Five RBIs for Holly. Five for France. Team was looking good. Love to see it. All right, cool. So, yeah. Uh, clearly, we are a good team. Are we the best team in baseball? The Dodgers are. Okay. But, yeah. I mean, again, the, the division's tough. The division's really tight. League leaders. What do we got going on here? Oh, actually, no. This is what I wanted to check out. I want to look at player stats. I wanted to look at like career really quick and I wanted to kind of see where like everybody is like hits wise and everything like that. So let's see. Uh, most hits. We've got Freeman, Altuve, Trout. Okay. He's slowly starting to regress, but you can kind of get an idea of where everybody is. Gene Segura. Okay. Bogarts, Hosmer, Yelich, Harper. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. All right. What about home runs? We've got Trout just shy of 500. Stanton, Harper, Arenado, Freeman, Machado almost 400, Rizzo almost 400, Salvi almost 400, a couple guys. Oh, Acuna's looking decent at 28 years old. He might might have a chance at 500. Soto at 319, he's starting to regress. Okay, all right. RBIs, what do we have for RBIs? So these two are, I mean, Freeman's way up there. Okay, all right. I, I like seeing that. I like seeing that. All right. What about what about pitchers? Let me, let me get to pitchers. So we've got wins, Kershaw by quite a bit. Saves, we've got Kenley Jansen. Okay. And then strikeouts, Kershaw by a lot. And then you got Chris Sale, Garrett Cole. Holy cow. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's take a look at awards. What do we got going on here? Oh, yes. We had an MVP, Jordan. There we go. Marcus Semien and Juan Soto following the, oh, the winner, Jordan. O'Neal Cruz. MVP, Walker Bueller and Manoa, Cy Young, J.D. Davis, and Bryce Harper, batting title. Reliever of the year goes to Rodgers and Hayter. And then Oscar Colas of the White Sox at what? 27 is your rookie of the year, along with Rick Porter of the Giants. Brennan Davis got the call up after, what, five years now? Okay. 
It looks like we're going to rock an extra pitcher, and I'm okay with that. Emerson Hancock, I, I need you to do something. I really need you to put something together here. Uh, McGreevy, wow, yikes. Uh, Zach Little was great. I want to bring him back. I just, I feel like we've got the guys in the farm system. Let's save some money. Let's be smart here. Let's not get into some financial troubles. Uh, we've got Cabrera. Matt Brash is really struggling. Hate to see that. Um, he's got some great numbers. It's just the, the walks per nine is probably the issue. 34 walks. You got Munoz who struggled. I think he becomes a free agent too. Diego Castillo allowed eight runs all season. I mean, he had a killer year and then Bednar. So if we take a look at our starters. You've got Gilbert who still put up a, a really respectable season. Soroka did as well. Robbie Ray in the last year of his deal. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what Robbie Ray did throughout this rebuild. Kirby and then Flex. Flex low key been kind of nice throughout this entire thing as well. So looking at the lineups, who got sent down? Sawyer again? I mean, he improved. He improved. So I, I, I got to call him back up. You know, I, I can't let him chill here. We've got some other guys that are like, I'm, I'm definitely keeping my eye on here. Uh, I think we can uh, get them up soon. So let me call up Sawyer. I need him to turn around. He's got all the stats to really be good. I just don't know why he's not. So who got called up over what the the loach was up though so who got called up the extra pitcher right yeah yeah yeah. okay so that was holly holly was like good but i think i think the loach goes down all right we'll send the loach down all right so now let's get sorry back into the team maybe drop him a little bit maybe that'll help it out help him out maybe and then maybe not have him that high up maybe go like julio rodriguez there and then drop him here as well so now Let's let's see what's going on here with the team. Dennis Gomez not getting a lot of at bats, so it's kind of tough to judge him. But he is improving. I like him as a bench bat. He'll be fine. Not great for the backup catcher. Bernardo Sanchez really solid with the bat, and then Holly gets on base. I like to see that, so I'm pretty happy with that. So looking at our team, I extended J.P. Crawford's contract by two years. I think for 14 mil, I think we can we can definitely work around it. And he's still putting up good numbers. The OPS dropped a little bit, but I still think he can give us. You know one or two more seasons kyle lewis is still putting up fantastic numbers ty france is slowly starting to regress i think we can get one more year out of him and then he might have to go or we can turn to sawyer make him that first baseman and then just you know try to flip ty france for a prospect realistically we do need to save money we do need to be smart with the players that we have and i feel like we we might just need to move on from ty france nothing against ty france it's just we we essentially have ty france reincarnated right here it's just he's not righty hitter and he's not doing as well um but overall i'm really happy with the team i think we've i think we've really done well with this squad so it is time to move forward to face the yankees okay okay here we go okay blue chris flexen ah season's over huh we just we're just really struggling we are really struggling. The Padres defeat the Yankees. We've got a really good team. And we're not doing anything. Um, I think this is the year we we spent a little bit of money on some pitching, though. I think this is what we do. So Cabrera. It's been okay. Like, let me let me see who is coming up. So Freddie Santana is definitely coming up. Like he looks nasty. Um Mock, I guess we could call him up too. Like, if like so, like, oh no, no, don't do that. So we'll call him up, right? That replaces one of these guys. I, I think it replaces Munoz. I think we let Munoz go. Just hasn't really put it together. Like he was good, but he's regressing. And I feel like between Cabrera and Munoz, they're kind of the same. Little would be nice to keep. Robbie Ray, we're gonna let go. Flexen, we're gonna let go. Both really good. But I think we just let's be smart. Let's let let's spend the money elsewhere. Plus, we don't really have a lot of money. So <laughs> that's another thing. So realistically, we're probably looking like Flexing gone, McGreevy's the new long reliever. Oh, we might actually need a starter. Which we'll spend the money on a starter. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know, man. I only have 17 mil in the budget. Oh, that's not good. We're not going to be able to afford everybody. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I put us in a bad spot. Um. Okay. I, we're just, we're just going to have to... We're going to have to let everybody go and see see where we're at I, I i may have overspent a little bit I, I may have really put us in a pickle i'm gonna pick up a couple relieving 
options. Carlos Rivas and Alex De La Rosa of the Royals need some help. Montero and the Loach are going to make this deal possible. I've got a lot of position players and pitchers are becoming a little bit of an issue. So I'm looking at different options here. I think I'm going to withdraw this one and I'm going to go back in for Diego Castillo for another season. He was really good last year. We might as well try to bring him back. Budget's going to be a little tight, but I think I think we're going to be OK. I think we are. I think we are. So let's, let's just see how the offseason plays out. All right. Season six lineup. Same. Nothing's changed. I like this offensive group. Uh, Brent Rooker has come in for whoever I got rid of. I don't remember now. Uh, I don't remember who did I get rid of. I don't have a lot of money. So, like, it's really just if I can get them into the team, um, that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, the main way I kind of did it was Rule 5 pickups. Uh, and then on top of that, we've kind of just rocked with some of the players that we currently have. Brought back Castillo for a season. Riva Santana been called up. Mox been called up. So, a lot of young arms in this bullpen. Rash is here. And then Tyler or Trevor McGill was picked up from Rule 5. Like I said, I kind of utilized that this, this offseason. You can kind of see I filled up the farm system with really low rated players, two Rule 5 picks. And then, yeah, this is what we got going on. So there, there there's the team. We're ranked second. Like we, we've got the team to do it. Budget wise, Soroka leaves us this year. We've got Castillo who leaves us this year. I might start making moves where I just kind of let players on arbitration walk or I mean, I really got to figure it out like Gerber. I'm not using and he's 700 K. I should probably get rid of him. Uh, I should probably get rid of Weigel and then Diaz. There's a couple guys here that I'm not using that like it's kind of a lot of money. So I might have to start being a little bit better with that portion of the, the rebuild. But season six, let's do it. All right. So at the deadline, I kind of realized that I I don't think I told you who I drafted last year. So we got Franklin McLeod. First baseman looks pretty good, right? We've got Sam Fernandez, Kurt Thomas, Adam Bravo, and then Nicholas Ellis. So there we go. And I guess I could show you. Oh, I can... oh wait, uh, sign draft picks. This is who I have this year. So we've got Tommy Hayes, Billy Hampton, Arnie Black. This was our best pick, Sal Vega, in like the fourth round, fifth round. Osuna solid, and then Gonzalez will uh, will pick him up too. So let's do that. So not not a bad couple drafts there. And then at the deadline, I haven't even looked at the team, to be honest, but uh, you're down struggling. Not ideal, but everybody else looks decent. I think pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Indeed, pitchers, Soroka. Uh, OK, Hancock. No, no. OK, McGree. OK, OK, McGreevy. I like that. What about the bullpen? How are we looking? OK. You know what? I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Budget's a little tight, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I think we leave it. I think we leave it. I think yeah. I I think that's the move for sure. Pitching is a little shaky. Soroka would be a guy that I would look to move. I mean, these guys, man. I can't believe we paid we paid Kirby the money and he's just not doing it. Hancock. Ugh. The grief is looking good, though. I think that's going to be a solid pickup for us. I think that's going to be a solid pickup for us. We've got this Figueroa guy who we got from the Orioles who could come in, replace Soroka. You know what? We might actually be okay. We might. We might. So, yeah. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. This team's looking kind of nice. Uh, I'm a little worried about Sawyer. He's worrying me a little bit. Like, the numbers are all there. He's just not putting it together. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how the season finishes. All right, won the division 94 and 68. Perfect. Love to see it. I, like, this is where things get a little tough because, like, the player pool is so thin. Players are retiring. Not a lot of players are, like, in free agency or at least, like, okay ones, like, once the season starts. Like, if I want to, what I normally do, what I'll say is, what I normally do is I, like, try to go to free agency and I'll fill up the farm system by signing kind of players like this or double A, uh, maybe triple a as well mostly like 60s and below there really aren't that many anymore in the league so like i'm actually having to sign some players that you know kind of kind of cost a little bit of money so logan gilbert's nasty love to see it love to see it awards riley green wow riley green okay holy cow eloy and then moncada back up for the mvp race acuna winning it you got Bueller and Asa Lacey. 
Got Moncada for the batting title along with Pete Alonso. Okay. Jorge Alcala and Lasagna winning reliever of the year. We've got Quinn Brody. Looks kind of nice. Looks kind of nice. And Rafael Ortega. Not that one that plays for the Cubs. A different one who plays for the Brewers. And he's a third baseman. Okay. All right. So it looks like we lost a position player. That is Sawyer again. Even though he had this best year. So you know what? Let's get Sawyer back in the team. All right. So McGill. Really good year. I want to keep him. We've got him. Yeah, this is this is looking good. I like this. Okay. Like it. Brash. Like it. Oh, wow. Our youngsters really balled out this year. Love to see it. Love to see it. Castillo was good. And then Bednar, outstanding. Love it. Bullpen. Really surprised me this year. I was expecting a little shakiness. Gilbert is that Cy Young caliber guy that I was looking for. He's been killing it. Soroka definitely fell off a little bit this year, which sucks. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna have another guy, so we're good. Hancock, we've got Kirby, meh, and then McGreevy. McGreevy is looking like a solid pickup from the Cardinals. Realistically, Soroka leaves and Figueroa comes in and slots in perfectly in the rotation. So we won't have to spend the money. We can be smart and uh, actually have some money for once. <laughs> Lineup wise, we have. Gomez, who really hasn't been given the shot, and he deserves it. He looks insane. We've got Banfield, who's been our backup catcher, but he's probably going to get moved. I honestly might move him to a different team, save that money. What is it, like 600K? I think that's probably the move. Sanchez has been great. Holly definitely took a step down this year, but like looking at his numbers, he's going to be good, so I'm not too worried about it. And then Rooker, I brought him as just a, a replacement for what? Deloach? I think that's who, who it was that left. JP Crawford still putting up great numbers. Kyle Lewis is killing it. We have him for one more season. Ty France, still really solid. You know what? Really consistent. He's not improving too much more. Again, we have one more year of him, but he's, he's doing well. Jordan took a little bit of a step back, but still a really respectable year. Julio Rodriguez is doing really well. Kelnick is doing really well. We're going to have to pay him. I got one more year of arbitration, and then we're going to have to pay him. So that's where all the money is going to go. Well, we Marte is heating up i should say i guess and then sawyer is starting to warm up too we're gonna have to pay him so no ford's potential went down why all right the team's still good though we're we're looking good i had maybe this is the year maybe this is the year maybe not i don't i don't know who are we facing the white Sox, huh okay please just sweep them just, no don't do this okay we won all right blue jays okay Come on, get one more win. One more win. All right. All right. Okay. World Series. We've got what? Hancock on the mound. All right. Hancock, Kirby, McGreevy. So let's go Gilbert, Soroka. Actually, I might just go like Soroka, Hancock, Gilbert, Soroka, Kurt. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So here we go. World Series against the Phillies. Okay, one and one. We lose that. Okay, two two. No, don't lose here. You know what? Since it is the it is the World Series here, and like we haven't been in one for a while, let's see how we do here. Let's go with Gilbert on the mound. Got to stay alive somehow. Can we do it? Can we do it? It's it's Painter, guys. Like let's let's do something here. Come on, we got to do something here. Oh, a double. Please don't score. Of course. Of course they score. Of course they do. Where's our offense? There it is. This is this is JP Crawford. I'm so glad we extended you. Bases loaded for your Don. I'll take a sack fly. I'll make it a three to one game. I'm happy with that. A pickoff. I don't think I've seen a pickoff in a sim like that before. That's wild. Fly out. Okay, so three one. <sighs> Come on. There we go, your Don. Get another run in. Okay, two runs come in, and then we were thrown out going home. Okay. Hmm. Uh. No. No, stop. Stop allowing runs. Zach Wheeler comes out of the bullpen. And I'm, I'm getting greedy here. Let's take him out. Let's go righty, righty, righty. Let's go with... Let's go Brash. One run scores. Sack fly tie ball game. Ooh, that's tough. First and second, though. Jordan, dude. Have a game. Eight to five. Love to see it. Got to take out Brash here. We're going to go Castillo. I need a good outing. This is not looking good. Not looking good. He gets out of it. 
Perfect. Okay, we're still alive. We're going to go to Bednar, who has been good. He gets out of it. Perfect. All right, game seven. World Series. Are we home? We are. We're rocking the, the teal colored unis. The aquamarine, whatever you want to call them. We're going to go Soroka. And, I mean, we need a game here. We need the offense to be on top of things. And that's not a good start. Four to nothing. Oh, boy. Four to nothing. Oh, boy. Uh, this might not be... Yeah, Soroka's done. That's... eight nothing eight nothing that's 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 the game we lost the world series <sighs> wow okay that's tough a single okay we, we might come back we might come back no no that's not it all right that's that's tough this is uh this is a t this is a tough way to lose it for sure this is a really tough way to lose it eight to nothing uh man unless we get like a grand slam here uh, okay okay didn't bring in the run there. Eight to four is respectable. We might have a chance, but then that happens. So nine, three runner thrown out. I mean, I, we, we've had a couple chances to get back into it, but it, it's not going to happen. Like, yeah, that's that's game. It's no, no World Series. Don't get me. Don't get me. Are we really going to do this? Are we really going to do this? A double play. Okay. I mean, we're, we're technically not out right like it's not over just yet so it comes down to this a home run nine six itching change okay a walk a fly out a pop-up dang world series loss our second world series loss man that's tough all right exclusive negotiations not bringing anybody back um man that's really tough to lose that world series right there after all that Hold on, did my... Hold on, who's Ryan Stark? Oh yeah, let's not lose him. Because he's probably going to be our backup catcher now. So there's that. I'm going to trade Banfield. And then let's add Freeman as well. Who else? There's a couple others. But I'm going to I'm gonna clear some of our... Like, Banfield can go... Like, kind of players like that. Where, like, we just have some money invested into them. That it's, it's just a little bit too much. All right, I'm going to pick up Gaylord Good, another Cardinals pitcher. Wild name. All right. Um Yeah, I feel like we're we're looking pretty solid. Like we can we can add some more players to the the 40 man, but realistically, I don't really know what we need right now. I feel like we're we're looking pretty solid. Pitching staff, I'm pretty comfortable with. Figueroa, I think is going to be nasty. So like I need Hancock and Kirby to be good, and then I have like full, full confidence in our rotation. Offensively, I think we're solid. I think we could be a little bit better, but I think we're really good. And then I think just a reliever. So let's just sign a reliever and let's get into the next season. All right, season six, I saved some money purposely, and you're saying save some money purposely. You didn't really save money. Well, we got Crawford, Lewis, France, Bednar, Kelnick free agents. We've got Brash, a free agent. We've got a couple others that start to hit arbitration and things like that. We have names that are becoming free agents and Kelnick's really the only one that I want to keep for sure. And then I think maybe we start to change up the team quite a bit with some, some free agent signings because we're actually going to have some money and now we can kind of change the team up. We made it to the World Series, but we clearly need more, right? Like we need to change it up. So how are we going to do that? Spend some money. So... This is the last year where I think we keep Kyle Lewis, Ty France, we bring back Kelnick, and realistically, J.P. Crawford probably could go, and then we could move, you know, Gomez to second. You know, I think that could be an option. Holly could play second base. We've got, ooh, who else could we get here? Uh, I guess we've kind of run through our prospects. I've been trying to get some other prospects involved, but we've kind of run through most of them. We do have some pitchers, but at the same time, I feel like we've done pretty well with everything that we've got. So, yeah, we're ranked first. This is the team to do it. I have faith in them. And if it doesn't work, well, then we'll change it up. We've got four seasons left. We might as well go crazy. All right, I'm going to pick up Ryan Weathers. I need like a longish reliever. And Ryan Weathers does that. Yep, we're going back to the Padres. I told you, we got them on speed dial. That's what we're doing. So, there's that. I need to call up somebody. I don't know who I'm going to call up. Ooh. 
get him to triple a um who do i call up here i don't really have i guess we could call up that guy where is he 27 garcia yeah let's get him into the team there we go yeah i mean his hitting stats are pretty good why not why not pick him up so there we go i'm liking that i'm liking that okay and then the pitcher ryan weathers there we go at the all-star break or the trade deadline we're doing great we're killing it i extended kelnick's contract it means our budget's a little tight again but i think we're pretty good we're losing a lot of money this offseason we should be fine i'm liking the team so draft picks let me show you them um pretty good draft pretty solid draft uh yeah i like it carlos rodriguez looks like he's gonna be really good so really solid draft i like what we're doing all right so we broke the win record 115 wins this team is insane and i mean what more can i ask for i mean we're starting at the point where like teams are really just kind of like a mess like a hodgepodge of random players so yeah league leaders figueroa the guy we got from the cardinals or the orioles i think it was one of those two teams um most wins best win percentage bednar was great with saves and then Jordan and julio rodriguez killed it offensively love to see it um i guess we could take a quick peek kind of see where we are hits wise 200 hits for Jordan and vlad jr how's he looking he's still holding his rating pretty well okay all right giovanni hawk what a name what a name. All right. Doubles, Julio Rodriguez and Bo Bichette. Ahmed Rosario with the triples along with Edmundo Sosa. Home runs 58 for Jordan and 165 RBIs. I'm assuming he's MVP based off those numbers. We've got a Cy Young. We've got a Hank Aaron. We've got a Rookie of the Year. We've got an MVP. I am loving it. So there we go. Love to see it. You guys can see the Cy Young winners. I think Manoa should have won it based on the numbers that he got considering... Like, Figaro is good, but, like, I feel like Manoa should have gotten it. Um, for sure. For sure. Alcala, back-to-back -back relievers of the year. Jose Castillo beats out Bednar. And then Figaro was your rookie of the year, along with Moises Gomez. Okay. I like it. I like it. So, ooh, some, some, some changed here. Okay, so, ooh, what happened? Diaz? No, he didn't get... I know he wasn't. Why is... Oh, this is a mess. Let's fix this. All right, so Ryan Weathers is looking good. I really hope he's not going to fall off now because I just traded for him. I would hate for that to be the case. Trejo was meh. Uh, Santana's been really good. Mock's been good. Rivas has been fantastic. And then we've got Brash, who was the setup guy this year. Fantastic. Bednar, fantastic. Love it. Killing it with the bullpen. I feel like our bullpen has been kind of the most consistent part of the team all year. Um, these two continue to just let me down. It sucks. Um, I <laughs> think it's just it's so annoying but i i don't have to worry about losing any of them they're all staying with the team pitching wise is probably the same so now this is where changes happen i think gomez deserves a shot we've had him on the bench for four years in four years he's had 120 at bats like that's and that's not good enough he deserves more stark was a good backup sanchez has been killing it as well i mean he deserves a shot holly probably deserves a shot as well like we've got players who really do deserve chances and now we're going to start to give them those chances i might have to keep kyle lewis 40 home runs almost that's insane julio rodriguez killing it jordan killing it kelnick killing it i mean 44 home runs for kelnick that's that's insane ty france not bad not bad not bad at all we've got Marte, his best season so far i like that and then sawyer holy cow that's what i've been waiting for and he finally does it and then Harry Ford, there we are. All right, so not bad. Not bad. How are we doing for the postseason? We are going to lose. We win. All right, Um. next up, let's see what we can do here against the Royals. We are one game away. One game away. All right, we win. And then now, this is where I'm going to change things up. Kirby, maybe something like... Something like this? let's try that world series taking on the cardinals we've got to win at least one of these right like right there we go we finally win it oh man who wins the award mvp goes to julio rodriguez tie france playoff mvp that is a solid way to do it heading into the off season whew, we finally win that world series that's uh it's been evading us it's been just staying away from us and i think this is where we start to kind of change up the team a little bit and we kind of we let some of these youngsters take over, right? We've got, what, 34, 34, 33, 34. Like, they're not bad. I think I want to keep Bednar for another year, actually. I think he's one guy I'm okay with, given 
another contract too. But you know, Kyle Lewis. Do I have an outfielder? I I have Sanchez, right? Like this. Yeah, I think I think we start to make the changes now. Do I keep? I I feel like I should keep them, but at the same time, I feel like it's time to kind of change things up. 14 mil for a season, 9 mil for a season, 20 mil for a season. Man, like Kyle Lewis was so good this year. And I feel like if I'm going to keep one, I'd want to, ah, man, I don't know. I, I can't afford them all. I just can't. It's it's just, and it's also probably not smart. Like, it's probably going to be like this. He comes in here. Ollie's like our main backup now. And honestly, I'm I'm actually really happy with the way the team looks right now. Sawyer can play first base. I guess we could keep JP. Ooh, actually, I guess we go like this and then like this and maybe try to keep one of them or two of them. I, I feel like this is still like, I don't know. I, I, I really like this team. I, I, I just don't know. Do I change it up? I feel like we should change it up just to kind of freshen things in this rebuild. So I'm going to let... Crawford, France, and Kyle Lewis walk after winning a World Series. I feel like that's the right move. All right, so I've kind of lost track on like what year it is. And because it's it only shows you a certain amount of years right here. So I had to go to Julio Rodriguez to kind of figure out where we were. And 2022 was our first year, right? Now I'm starting to like think it it's, it's not the right year. And now I'm trying to like find a player that I can be like, yeah, this is first one. So I guess... Where, where is he? I guess the first one would be Logan Gilbert, right? So the first year's got to be 2022, right? So for right, 2022, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to be season eight. Okay, so this is the team. All right, so we've got three more seasons. Here we are. I mean, it's, it's the standard squad. I mean, the team's really good. We do have the changes, though. Gomez, Sanchez, we've got... Holly in as well. The bench has changed up a little bit. It's definitely weaker, but I like our starting lineup. Harry Ford is a guy that I might not keep. <laughs> I can't leave it there. I like Ryan Stark's hitting attributes a lot. Um, we don't really have any farm system guys. We're kind of thin there. I did bring in Joe Adele as a bench bat, but when you look at it, most of our, our players are like pitchers at this point. Like that's that's where most of our our talent is pitching like I kind of went a little crazy with the pitchers and it's it's definitely showing we've got some we've got some decent pitchers chilling waiting for their chance waiting for their chance so lineup wise I think we've kind of got our team sorted um we probably won't change it up too much more yeah I mean this team stacked let's go through it all right so we had a chance to tie our record of most wins in a season and we ended up losing to Boston here this team's just too good like that's really what it comes down to I already know I'm probably going to have to change this up. Uh, Trejo, did he pitch all season? He did, and he's regressing already. That sucks. Okay, so what I did here was David Bednar had a rough year. So I took him out, which means who, who got sent down? It was Taurus. And did anybody else get sent down? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it, at least. So let's just call back up. It's Taurus. Actually, hold on. I got two players up. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I got to... Let's do that and then let's just send down bednar because wow he was bad um and then oh wait de la rosa need to get rid of him Ooh. let's go with yeah i guess we just call back up his tourists and we're good to go so now de la rosa gets sent down we're good to go pitching wise oh no standings wise i mean we're clearly the best team in baseball like it's not even close and then when we take a look at league leaders look at look at our pitchers look at our pitchers look at our offense it is insane i mean i love to see it we've really put together a solid team love it love it love it awards cy young mvp Jordan is a killer love it love it love it jared kelnick is there as well you got devers Andy Pajes for the Giants now instead of the Dodgers. Oh, Josiah Gray is your Cy Young winner with the Rockies. You got Logan Gilbert winning it. 22 and 1. Wow. Okay. Emerson Hancock put together his best season of his career. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So Devers, batting title winner along with a rise. Joe Jimenez and Alcala, reliever of the year. Alcala's winning it every year, apparently. And then Luis Medina and Tirso Ornelas. 
rookies of the year. All right, so pitching rotation. What do we got going on here? Weathers, potential went up. Ooh, okay, okay. I like what I'm seeing from him. Trejo was solid. Mock, killing it. Freeman came up, you know, it's, it's small sample size. Rivas is unbelievable. Ooh, actually, kind of, hmm, what happened here? So what do we got here? Santana was killer and so was Brash. So I think we've got, a again, just a really solid bullpen. Like that's been the, the key part of the team. Everyone's starting to show their work. Oh man, this, this team is chef's kiss. That is what I like to see offensively. How are we looking? How are we looking here? Stark was really good off the bench as a catcher. And Joe Adele was okay. It was okay. He was probably our main bench bat. And then Class A. So did we have... Somebody else get sent down. Ooh, Garcia. He didn't even get in. He didn't even get in that bat though. So okay. Uh, Gomez first full season, and you know what? Not bad. He just doesn't have the power numbers. Almost forty doubles though. Like that's good. Stolen bases are up there. Like I'm okay with the power numbers being a little bit low because he's getting on base, right? Sanchez killed it. Thirty-one home runs. I mean, this guy's insane. This guy's really good. Yeah, give me more of that. Please don't regress anymore. <laughs> Kelnick killed it. We've got Sawyer who's really showing his worth now. Noel V. Marte is doing decent. Again, like, I'm okay with the numbers he's putting up. Holly, you know what? On base percentage, average is high. And then Harry Ford, potential went back up. He had his best year of his career. So, again, uh, this team's good. This team's good. Are we going to win a World Series? Maybe. I would assume based on the fact that, like, we have the best record in baseball by quite a distance. Like, it's... It's not really even close. Like that's that's the crazy part. So facing the twins, uh, we're gonna lose, huh? We're gonna lose, huh? Yeah, we did. Uh, we lost to the twins. They're facing the Giants in the World Series, which is unfortunate. The twins end up winning the World Series. So I guess let's go take a look at what the twins have. Luther Terry, Arise, Adamus. I mean, that's not a bad team. It's not a bad team at all. Pitching, I mean the bullpen looks really solid. Yeah, it's not a bad team. I'm okay. uh, it sucks to lose, but we've got, what, two more seasons left? I mean, this team has been a lot of fun. Weathers, I want to, weathers, I want to keep. So that's going to cost a lot, but let's do that. Bednar can leave. Jordan has exercised his option. I'm, I'm okay with that. I want him to stay. Like, that's, that's, yeah. Stay with the team, please. All right. Off-season time. Realistically, I don't. I don't what do we need i don't think we i think we've done a really good job with this team maybe a pitcher do i need a pitcher let me see let me see i don't i don't think maybe a pitcher may, maybe one maybe one reliever because trejo's like regressing so yeah maybe one reliever but again like this team's nasty like, you know what I mean? Like, this team's insane. So, I feel like no, we don't really need much, if anything. So, let's get into the next season. All right, season nine, I'm probably over budget. Just barely. Uh, next year, I will 100%. And it's the last year, so I'm okay with us being over budget. I'm not too worried about that. I think we'll be okay. So, yeah, I, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, the team's really good. Really good. I, uh, yeah, we're, we're good. The team's good. I mean, look at this. This is gross. Um, so like I said last year, I'm not too worried about us going over budget. I'm not gonna add any players I really like the team that we put together with this rebuild like this was a lot of fun Especially because a lot of the guys were like players that we either traded for while they were prospects or we kind of drafted them You know like Santana Brash was already here Rivas. Uh, did we trade for him? I don't remember Um, I feel like we drafted him but like all our starters besides okay two of our starters we we got from other places lineup wise i mean look at this this is gross like this is this is a good team i'm i had a lot of fun with this one season nine let's do it 109 and 53 i mean we've really done well with this rebuild like this this was this was a good 10-year rebuild like the last one we did with the pirates that was fun like we had a good team but i mean this 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 is like different this is crazy good. Like, this is unbelievable. The Rockies won 100 games, which is cool and all. But, like, this is this is insane. This is insane. Only one World Series to come. Like, or we've only had one World Series, which is super disappointing. But, like, 
man this was this was a lot of fun like we we've we've got a, a crazy good team jose figueroa we traded from i want to say it was the orioles I, I really do i think that was the right move doug sawyer who we drafted is a 99 overall and this guy is insane oh man this was this was a good one i like this one a lot okay okay all right pitching wise someone got sent down it's gonna be an offensive player but let's see what we oh no Ooh, hold on who got sent down uh it was let's see it was who had it was mako and he was good holy cow also rodriguez jumped up so much okay so let's get mako or maybe mako i don't know he's, he's got to get back in the team though because he was insane look at look at that number from slovakia hold on i didn't even know he was from slovakia either but um yeah uh, i'm really happy with the team i think we did a fantastic job we've got one more year still brash struggled which is unfortunate but i guess it works because now we've got like crazy good pitchers that we can turn to gilbert killed it uh his one bad season so far but he's still been fantastic hancock's been good kirby's been a little disappointing i'm not gonna lie and then figaro has been absolutely insane and then mcgreevy you know what a little disappointing there too so this is this has been fun this has been fun this has been a lot of fun i like this and then when we look at the lineup stark has been you know what an on-base machine at catcher so i'll take it joe adele solid bench bat i say and then Julio Garcia got a couple at bats and did okay. All right, so Gomez. I mean, I'm happy with that. Again, just an on base machine, 88 overall. Huge pickup for us. The fact that we were able to get him in free agency after the first season is wild. Bernardo Sanchez, same exact thing. He's been really good. I mean, J Rod killing it. You know, Jordan killing it. Kelnick, obviously. We were really lucky there. Sawyer, a crazy pickup from us in the draft. He's been fantastic. Noel B. Marte's been really consistent in this area, which I'm okay with. Holly, we picked him up from the Padres. Solid. And then Harry Ford. I did lose Ryan Weathers. I forgot to mention that. We lost him to the Cubs. He went to the Cubs instead. But yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with this team. If we don't win another World Series, I'm okay with that. I feel like we've really built a really strong team here. Like, offensively, we, we really... And I feel like that's kind of what I like. Oh, wow. We're facing the Phillies again in the World Series. I just like building fun teams. I don't necessarily need to win a World Series. I just like the fact that we were able to really create a fun team as we defeat the Phillies once again in the World Series. And who is our MVP? Doug Sawyer Kelnick being the playoff MVP. And you love it. You love it. You love it. You love it. I mean insane insane all right so with that in mind we got one more season left and i don't really know what to do so let's just get into season 10. so guy i was really like i i thought we were gonna have some good luck with him and instead george kirby was a little bit of letdown so i'm gonna pick up alec manoa for this last year as you can see i'm going mets uh and just not worrying about the budget at all like i said for this last season i feel like that's we, we've done well up until this point so I'm, I'm pretty happy just that last season being just super fun going out and rocking with this team spending a little bit of money keeping everybody on the squad so here we are season 10 nothing's changed just manoa's in the team and i let go of brash and now we've got freddie santana as our closer this team's insane let's do it yeah 119 wins Ooh. this team's insane look at our august two losses three losses in august insane 119 wins easily easily the best team in baseball like it's not even close and i mean i guess we could take a look at not team rankings because i already know we're gonna be best i want to look at player rankings and kind of see where everybody stands hit wise mike trout just shy of 3,000 hits you got machado there freddie freeman harper bregman okay do we have any players do we have anybody like i'm not really i'm not really seeing anybody <laughs> um, jp crawford okay so he was he was part of that. Jordan's almost at 2,000. Okay. Uh, what about what about home runs? What about home runs? Almost 600 for Trout. He was three short. Acuna still holding his rating pretty well. Okay, I like to see that. Jordan's at 522. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I like it. 
and stolen bases trey turner way up there way up there what about what about pitchers so wins it goes to barrios saves it goes to edwin diaz with 581 wow Joan Duran's got quite a bit too. 375. Wow, more than Hater. What? I'm... He's just been pumping out saves. Did anybody break a record? Um, what's that under stats? MLB records. Were any records broken? Uh oh, Minter in 2026 had saves. Oh, okay. Impressive. Impressive. Okay, all right. So, league leaders, McGreevy was insane. Santana had the most saves. Gilbert had the best whip offensively. Love to see that. Love to see that. And then awards, delivery man of the year, Cy Young, MVP. Love it. All right, perfect. Huge. Jordan, what is that? Four in a row? Acuna winning it on the other side. Luis Ill and McGreevy are your Cy Young winners. Look at our pitchers. Look at our pitchers. Tate Graves. What a name, by the way. He looks pretty good. Like, he actually looks really good. Uh, Tatis on the other side. Grimes and Santana for the reliever of the year. And then Rodolfo Nolasco and Michael Rincon are your rookies of the year. Okay. All right. Pitching-wise, it looks like someone got sent down. Uh, let's, let's fix that. Let's fix that. So who got sent down? Trejo? Yeah, he can stay down. <laughs> he can stay down for sure. Offensively, who was sent down? Let's see, uh, one of our shortstops were, but let's get another one up. And who else? First baseman, maybe? Let's get him back into the team, too. Our pitching's good enough. I'm not too worried about it. He can go down, and he can go down. All right, there we go. Let's let's see here. Let's see. Carlos Rodriguez, 85 overall. Rough season, rough season. I mean, Mock was great. Freeman was unbelievable. We've got Vega was, look at this team, man. This team is disgusting. Absolutely insane. Um, am I, am I short a pitcher? I am short a pitcher. I am, I am short a pitcher. Um, what's going on here? Do I, 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 so I have way too many offensive players. So I guess we have to rock with Trejo. All right. So let's go with, I guess he can go. All right. All right, all right. So we just already saw Trejo's stats. What about our pitchers? Logan Gilbert was great. Manoa, unbelievable pickup for us. Figueroa, solid. Yikes. McGreevy was unbelievable. So I think we go something like, yeah, like that. I think we go like that. And then offensively, Stark is our is is crazy. Like he really should be starting over Harry Ford. Like it really should be the case. Uh, Gonzalez, Adele, Classe, and Garcia. There we go. Starters, Gomez. I mean, the guy's just an on-base machine. Gotta love it. Julio Rodriguez, love those numbers. Unbelievable numbers. Almost a 50-50 season. One home run shy. You've got Doug Sawyer, who's still putting up unbelievable numbers. This guy, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Insane. Jordan still putting up like crazy numbers. I don't know. Almost 60 home runs. Like, that's crazy. Kalnick is solid. Bernardo Sanchez is starting to regress a little bit. So that's a little disappointing. Noel V. Marte. There we go. That's a better season from him. Wow. Holly. Really? Okay. And then Harry Ford. So you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to make the move now and put in Stark for the postseason. And here we go. Postseason time. Let's do it. We are going to make it through. Holy cow. I was a little worried there swept the Royals and a, the Phillies again we're facing the Phillies again in the World Series you know what let's go Hancock instead of McGreevy all right the Phillies once again are we gonna ruin their World Series with ease with ease three World Series in 10 years I'm pretty happy with that Bernardo Sanchez World Series MVP and playoff MVP how are we looking for the postseason you know what? I'm assuming the, the bullpen was nasty, huh? Yikes. Good. Pretty good. And then offensively, how are we looking? 309. Six home runs for J-Rod. 309 for Sawyer. Jordan was quiet. But yeah, this was this was a stacked team. I had a lot of fun with it. There it is. The 10-year rebuild for the Mariners. I hope you enjoyed it. Three World Series, a crazy stacked team. That's about it.
I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. Of course, get in the comment section. Let me know what team is next. That's it. Peace. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, I've got another one for you right here. Boom. Right there. Check it out. It's going to be great. Recommend this one.